Welcome everyone to another Destiny video. Today we're going to be talking about the quest to get no time to explain. Now to do this you had to have previously done the paradox and find the three uh, ghost memories from Praetith and kill the taken minotaur at the end. And if you didn't get this done you're going to have to wait until the paradox is the daily again. And then we thought we was going to do it in this time, but for some reason Bungie launched it. Everybody assumes it's because Halo launched today, but either way. So just get into it after you finish that and you get to be able to get this quest. So we come in to the future war cult representative and you'll have to gain, I believe it's 800 or 1,000 faction uh, rep, uh, rep. So uh, I'll have to do a little... <laughs> little cut here because I ran out of materials to upgrade <clears throat> so yeah I really got tired of burning heavy ammo to synthesis there so I had to move some stuff around and get it so there we go so the next part of the quest Good. we have to kill a taken minotaur and then shatter the uh, item that it gives you, which I uh, barely missed recording it, but anyway, I'll show you, we just come to the Citadel, the way we did, we just launched Vault to Glass because we had several people with us, so you kill a Taken Minotaur, it can be one of those, we're one of the boss, I believe, then you come back to the tower and you speak to her again, there's a lot of running back and forth in this, so then we have to go into the Vault of Glass and kill Atheon and shatter the Eye of Atheon. <clears throat> So as you see there, we have the Eye of Atheon after we beat him. And then we shatter it, which was nice because we got to carry one of our new friends through and kind of give him an experience for the raid before we start the King's Fall with him. So we go back to the tower again, like I said, running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then from here, we go into... Twilight Gap. That's the PvP map. Now there are, you see these little taken bombs throughout and there's these beams of light that you're gonna have to go through to keep yourself cleansed or you're gonna go into like darkness zone just like Atheon. So in this map there is a random spawn chest that you have to find. So and if you go dark you're gonna have to find another one of these light beams just by pure luck probably. So I'm running to the next light beam and I spot the chest. I got lucky. So you'll receive this bracelet. You have to take this back to the tower. I know, running back and forth. So here we are, back in the tower. And we will hand off our bracelet and receive the next part of the quest. So here you have to enter the Black Garden. And to do this, you have to kill all these enemies to get the anger level over 100%. The way we did this, because there was two of us, it was a little difficult with the massive swarms of minotaurs. Is, uh, we kept one person back to try to kind of draw the minotaurs back. And then have another person go out and shoot the boss. Which Sleeper Simulant was working wonders on this. Uh, I did forget to mention earlier, shout out to Cadet37, he said the hunter perk where you can see the chest on your mini-map does work on the Twilight Gap quest, or part of the mission. So as you see there, you finish that up, we go back to the tower and she has the no time to explain, exotic, stranger's rifle, pulse rifle, whatever you want to call it, it's the exotic stranger's rifle. So it has basically the same stats or the same perks as the Stranger's Rifle. The full auto, fitted stock, and so on. Now, the rewind again is pretty interesting. So every critical hit will immediately put ammo back into your magazine. Very cool. So thanks everyone for watching. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe.